Have you ever walked down the street and wondered why a particular building looks the way it does? Who designed it? Could it be better or different? Well, I'm Mr. Jeff, and on this VBDL video, I'm going to introduce you to an artist and architect who probably asked himself those very same questions. Austrian artist Frederick Hundewasser was born in Vienna in 1928, and he grew up during the difficult years before and during World War II. Children's books were very helpful for his development of thoughts and dreams, and in particular, Beatrice Potter's Winnie the Pooh books had beautiful illustrations of rabbits and their environment. And perhaps you know that one too. Well, another thing was uh, he was very interested in, in observing the world around him, and he observed bees and ants and how they made their homes. And another fascinating animal for him was the mole and how it made its home underground using organic construction methods. And actually, the mole was his favorite animal. But Huntewasser grew up and developed his unique artistic style and personal artistic look uh, and was driven by the importance of nature and how it was incorporated into the can, uh, we're all connected uh, to the earth philosophy. And he did this throughout his career. He was very much against using straight lines, but was fascinated with curved lines and spiral shapes, which can be viewed as either turning inward or leaning outward. His paintings are colorful and organic. Curved lines and shapes can be seen throughout uh, his work and is kind of interpreted as childlike. Many paintings have imagery uh, throughout his career that uh, were models for fascinating looking buildings and structures. So uh, what I'd like to do here now is to uh, show you a few examples from this great book that we actually got when we were in Vienna. And it's got some really good work uh, examples of his work. So I'm going to have uh, you look at this and this first one it's called Bleeding Buildings, and it's, it's like his skyscraper series, excuse me, and you can see the complementary colors here, of red and green, and repeated shapes of the windows over and over again. But you notice that the windows are not perfectly straight, because he doesn't like the straight lines. And here's another one called Good Morning City, Bleeding Skyscraper, and again, fantastic shapes not particularly straight, just kind of uh, a little irregular and floating uh, uh, shapes on top of, of that. So it's kind of a layered uh, design here too. So then we're going to move to another one here. Um, this is called the House of Rain and Blood. Notice that the brush marks are very noticeable here. They're, they're not trying to mask them off or bleed them or make them soft, but that really creates a lot of movement. And again, uh, a contrast in, in the colors of red and green here in the, in the sky. Here's one called Positive Soul Trees. And this one, um, if you look at these shapes right here, these are the, the tree shapes and as, as well as these as well, but they're kind of like lollipop shapes because they're almost like a, a round shape on a stick, but uh, very simple, almost it can be interpreted as childlike. And this one here is called um, uh, Deep Into the Grid, and this one is, is has a uh, perspective from looking above. So you're looking down from the from the sky onto the earth and it has sort of a grid system but notice the uh, uh, really bright colors and again that movement with the the line so again here uh Hundewasser has well established his his artistic unique artistic vision so we're moving from paintings into architecture and in this one these are some uh, surrounds around windows, apartment windows, and, and in buildings. And one of the things that becomes important to him is the use of mosaics. 
And so this one in particular, you can notice the, mo the very fine mosaic work that surrounds that typical window. Okay, so we have a conventional straight line, which is already existing, but he's trying to make it more organic. Okay, another thing that he's done is redesigning existing buildings. And so I'm going to show you a few examples here. This is one, it's the Church of St. Barbara, and notice it's rather plain looking. There's, the colors are kind of drab. There's not a lot of uh, really things to grab your attention to. Uh, and he was commissioned to do this uh, redesign. So here's a picture of him creating a model uh, for this redesign. And here is uh, another example of that. I'm gonna flip through a few more of the pictures of the work in progress. Notice this large uh, gold dome that he's designed for the top. And then here's the final uh, result. And a beautiful color, very intricate mosaic work. Even the roof has got uh, designs on it as well. So he's really added much color and, and lively organic shapes to that. Another one is... Uh, a service building, and this is a, a restaurant on a motorway. It's, it's kind of like a, a rest stop. And so here's the black and white photograph of how it was before. Then his proposal and his uh, drawing of how uh, he's going to change that. Here's a model that he's created. Notice the organic roof, the grass and trees on top of the building. And then the final result. So here's the motorway restaurant. This is in Austria and, uh, and extreme colorful. Um, and just imagine how much of pleasure it would be to stop at that place when you're traveling. It'd be fantastic. The last one I want to show you is also in, in Vienna, Austria. This is an apartment building. Here's the before picture. This is the Kunsthaus in Vienna. And we happen to actually be there and, and have a view of this uh, building. It was fantastic uh, to be able to see it in person. Here is the model of how he's going to be transforming it. Notice the various, almost like a checkerboard, but very irregular kind of uh, checkerboard design to it. And then here it is, and it's as it actually turned out. So the mosaic, again, used on the surface design of this one. And the inside is just as fascinating as the outside. Even the flooring has a wave to it. It's not a straight a floor at all. So it's a little tricky to be walking on that. But uh, it's pattern upon pattern and just uh, a, a, a very playful environment that he's created. So that is a little taste of the fantastic world of Huthwasser. And what I'd like to do here is to challenge you. So I want you to look around where you live and notice the buildings that, as you pass by. What would you change? What kind of building would you like to see? What colors and decorations? And how would it relate to the other buildings in, in, around it? So next we'll be doing a local architecture explore. And uh, we, we're going to uh, try to have you inspired by what you see here with the Hundewasser world. So think about your imagination, looking at around at what you see, and we'll see you on the next VBDL Explorer. See you later.